that's how easy the development process becomes with github copilot and both javascript css even in H- normal html websites if you're making this is going to help you out a lot hello everyone and welcome to today's session today we are seeing uh, how github copilot works we're having a look at it for the first time and it is a fairly new technology which uh, github has co-created with microsoft because now microsoft has overtaken github so the development process has just boosted up over the past few years and with the launch of github copilot is it is one of the most sensational tech right now in the industry because it has just been only a few weeks since it has been launched and not everyone has access to it but we have got hold of the technical preview so we are going to have a look at it what github copilot is how it works and also we're going to be making a live react app so for those of you who are here joining us in the live session you guys can also uh, you know open up your uh, vs code and if you know about react there's a utility called as create react app so if you are familiar with it just and if you have node installed on your system so you can just go ahead and create a, a react app a new react app and we'll begin from there so let me quickly share my screen just let me know if you can see it or not and then we'll start before we start coding let me pull up github copilot and let's understand what this thing is so github copilot so this is the official page web page for github copilot okay as you can see here that they have given a lot of examples here if you can see on my screen how it works so basically you can use comments to uh, tell something like what you want to do in the code and then it will actually do it so let's understand what this is and how it works so as you can see right now it's available for technical preview so you have to basically sign up and apply for the technical preview and then you'll be added onto the wait list and i don't know how they're choosing it but that's how you're going to get access to it so let's see so basically this is powered by the open ai foundation which works on which works on the gpt3 uh, you know machine learning concept and based on that what it does it it because github has a huge repository okay of code github is the largest organization which has the most amount of data with respect to code because almost every one of us you and i and even the major companies even the you know the frameworks that are there like react angular all of them are being managed and stored on github so it's just amazing how much data github has and that is what they have done with copilot whatever public repositories are there through that they have created a huge data set through which the ai model it has tested and learned so many codes that now it can understand what you want to do because again uh, your idea might be different okay in whether it's like a new startup or you're making a new website or whatever you're doing the idea might differ but the implementation on a code okay or implementation implementation through a code or in a website or in an app remains same because you have got those uh, fundamentals that you have to follow okay you if you need a nav bar you need a nav bar the stylings may change according to you but the functionality the concept of navbar it remains same and thousands and crores of people have already updated their repositories with different kinds of navbars with different frameworks and everything and that actually helps github copilot to you know uh, understand what you're trying to do and then do it so let's see an example here they have shown it here so function calculate days between dates date 1 and date 2 this is all that you write and automatically github copilot gives you this we'll be just seeing this live when i start to code okay we'll be making a small react app we'll be making a grid of user cards from an api random user name api or something like that and that's how we are going to get some random users from an api we're going to grab them store them and then we are going to display them in a card so that's what we are going to making then you'll see how it does this okay so if i replay it this is all that you need to write and the rest of the code will be inserted automatically by github copilot the same goes for css it goes for html it goes for javascript it goes for java c++ even i recently came across this article let me see if i can pull that article up there was a recent article about github copilot clearing all of the lead code uh, you know 
what do we call that interview questions or something you have that right am i right interview questions or something by lead code let me see if i can open this up okay this is a youtube video okay no sorry i cannot play the youtube video but yeah there was this whole article also about it that they tried this github copilot on the interview questions by various companies mncs and without any knowledge the copilot helped to you know solve that particular code and that's how revolutionizing this whole tech is so the main uh, basically the main back end thing in this is that it has a lot of data because of github because they host all of the repositories so because of that data they they can now predict what you want to do and that prediction might be by reading your code so basically you are giving it access to all of your code whatever you are doing on your pc that's one thing you are giving it access to every single line of code that you are writing and that's how it predicts the next line in your code okay that's how it does that so i hope what it does and how it does is pretty clear right now so let me know if you want to ask something about it otherwise we'll just get right into the you know coding part and you will actually see it live and then we can you know uh, ponder upon more and more questions so let me know in the chat box if you have any questions right now uh, and i'll also leave the link to this particular page so you can also apply for the technical preview and join the wait list okay code okay anyone any questions if you have feel free to ask them right now otherwise i'll start with the vs code window and we'll see and make something no this is an extension this is an extension for vs code so basically it might be available for uh, available publicly on vs code you might be able to find it but it won't work until and unless you have been uh, basically given the access because the first thing it will ask is to log in using your github account and then github sends you an email when they provide you the access so you'll have to like be a, you'll become a viewer in their repository for github copilot you can also raise issues report for bugs because this is still in beta that is why this is a technical preview this so they are still testing things out there are a lot of bugs okay any prerequisites to know for this meeting no we are just testing out github copilot this is a new technology that github has launched which lets you uh, you know basically it helps you in your coding whatever you coding it helps you a lot in that and we'll be just making a react app a very small and basic react app nothing complex to actually showcase the power of github copilot and how exactly it's going to help you out and we'll also ponder upon the questions that the whole industry is putting up right now whether this is going to uh, make developers lose jobs or something so let's we'll be we'll talk about that as well anyone any questions if you have feel free to ask otherwise we'll move on to the coding part just give me a thumbs up if you're ready and we'll just move on to the coding part okay okay amazing great so i am going to put this window here and the code window here okay so i hope you can see the split screen and everything here okay and now uh, as i told you this is just a basic create react app template so you can see a lot of stuff here this is a basic react app if i open the terminal the integrated terminal in vs code and write npm start okay that's how you start a react app so it is going to start a development server for me on my pc and it i'll be able to see the website on a new tab here in on local host 3000 i suppose so i'm waiting for it to start in meanwhile what you can do is if you want to do this along with me so you'll need to install node okay so you'll need to install node js in your pc and along with node comes node package manager that npm so you'll need access to npm or you can use yarn also some people like to use yarn so you can try both of them but i prefer npm so you need to have npm as well as node to actually work with react on your pc so make sure you have them and then what you can do is just go into your terminal inside any folder and say, uh, you know type npx create react app and the app name so i'm going to leave that 
small uh, terminal line here so npx create react app and then the uh, you know file folder name or the app name so this this is called user cards so you can take this copy this and once you have installed node and everything then this is what you'll see so this is the basic app which uh, you know uh, react provides you once you first you know load it using npx create react app this is the proper app which they give you so this is a common template that they have so i am going to remove all of this i don't need all of this i'm going to remove everything from here save it and then i am just gonna say i'm gonna do import react and i'm gonna say hello world so i can see whether it's running or not so yeah you can see that now hello world is visible on the screen so that means my app is wired up and what i need to do is now i'm going to clear all this clutter from here so i'm going to clear the svg the web vital and tests because we are not doing something advanced such as testing okay so i'm going to remove that and all the other dependencies from here because we don't need them as of now we are just testing out the preview okay so now everything looks fine here we go so here you can see that hello world this is just like your html thing now uh, because components again are made of JSX. JSX is HTML inside JavaScript. That's how React works. So hello world, I can say again hello and save it. So again, you get all the features of you know fast reload and everything here. So if I save it, this will be updated here as well in the uh, local host server. Okay, hello world and everything. So you can see that after every save, it is being updated. Okay, so you can see already GitHub Copilot is at work. So if I just uh normally enter you can see that it is giving me an option to write h1 hello world so i can just write tab and then accept this suggestion so you can see hello world is there so github copilot just starts immediately so if you can see this is a small icon below at the bottom which is the copilot icon and in the extensions tab also this is here so copilot if i search for it this is github copilot it is installed and it is already at work you can see at the bottom so if you see this icon that means github copilot is working so let's have a look on how it helps us so the api that we are going to be using is and you'll see i'm not going to write like much amount of code everything is going to be written by github copilot so the api is known as random user json api okay so this is the api random user.me Okay, so this gives you uh, an API like this. It gives you the photo, it gives you a name, it gives you location, email, and a lot of stuff for a random user. Okay, so we'll be just not creating our own data. We're going to take it from this API. So what I'm going to do is, so first of all, what we need to do, we need to fetch this data from this API. So again, just, you know, uh, properly listen to my words, what I'm, what I'm saying fetch the data that's how you do it in javascript you fetch data from an api and then you store it into a, a state basically a react state that's what we are going to do so here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to write down what i want to do i'm going to write it down in comments what i want to do so i'm going to do comment and i'm going to say uh use state hook for storing users okay this is what i wrote and if I press enter, you can see that it automatically created a use state hook for me with the use name as users and the function as set users. So I'm not going deep into React. I'm just showing you that this is what we need to actually store data. So I'm going to accept it by saying tab. That's it. I have my first line of code, which I need. Let's do something else. Now we need to fetch the data. Okay. So we need to fetch the data on every page load. So we need a use effect call. Okay. So again, I'm going to add a comment. Okay. So we see it's giving me some suggestions use effect hook for listening to changes in users, but that's what I uh, need. I need use effect hook to fetch data. Sorry. Fetch data from, and now I can even go ahead and see it's giving me API. So from API, I can even tell which api so i had copied this link so if i copy this link for the api and i don't even have to think about the implementation 
I don't even have to read the documentation of this API of how it is to be implemented because GitHub Copilot is going to do it for me. So if I paste it here and then press enter, you can see that it is starting. Okay, it is starting its whole work. So first of all, it's creating a use effect block. I'm going to accept it by tab and press enter. Now it's going to do the next line, which is fetching the users. And then again, and then it is going to grab the response. Great. After response, it's going to set the users automatically. I'm doing nothing. It is just giving me suggestions. And this is exactly what we need to do. And after that, it is done. They're just going to close it and end use effect block. So basically what happened was use effect is in react. If I have to explain a little bit, use effect runs every time your page reloads, or if you have some dependencies here inside the square bracket. Okay. So every time your page web page loads, then what it is going to do is it's going to fetch some users from this API. Precisely. It is going to uh, fetch 10 users only because we have, it has given here results equals to 10. So 10 users will get. And then it is going to convert the response to JSON because if I have a look at this particular API in a browser window, you can see that I am receiving a JSON data. Okay. Data of 10 users here. Okay. In JSON format. So then it will just convert it into a JavaScript object using this function, which is response.json. And then finally, it is going to give me the results array inside of set users. That is the whole thing that is it is doing. So finally, if I now do a console log here, okay, console log of users. So now if I go here and inspect this, let me show it to you. If I go to console, you can see that in the console, I have an array. Okay. I have an array of 10, uh, basically 10 objects. Okay. Zero to nine. This is an array as we saw, this is going to bring 10 results. So we are getting the array and you can see that inside each array, I have, uh, you know, date of birth, email, gender, ID, location, login, some data about that. So just to replicate random users, I'm getting this information. Okay. We are getting name, uh, phone, picture and everything. Now what we need to do is we need to show it on our screen. We don't want to just log it to the console. So let's begin that process. So the above process is done and everything was done by GitHub Copilot. I did not do anything at all. Now here, if I begin, you can see it says hello world and everything. So instead of that, uh, what I do is here, I'm going to make a comment here. Okay. In JSX like this. And here I'm going to write it that, uh, map users into a card. Let's see if this works or not. Oh my God, it works. So you can see that now I just wrote in the comments that map users into a card. So basically the users is an array. Okay. Users is an array. We just saw that. So one by one, I want to go through, okay. All of the, uh, array objects and then create a card of that. So if I accept this change here, uh, you know, like this, and then again, enter, it's going to give me again. So it's giving me proper key card and everything. Okay. It's giving me the picture. It's giving me the name. Okay. Everything it has analyzed the whole API response and it's giving me everything what I need. So basically it made a small card of users image name and location. Okay. If I save it, you can see on the screen that, okay, wait, what happened? You can, oh, okay. Okay. Login thing is not working. So let me remove this and let it be with this thing only. So let's have a look. So now you can see that Carolina, Carolina and Barcelona, everything like random image, random name and random location. Like the users are now being shown. There are 10 users. So whatever data we got, let's see what was the problem with, uh, you know, user ID and password. So I have login. Okay. It was inside login. It was checking inside user. Okay. That was the problem. No issues. Okay. So you can check it here that now I have 10 random users. And again, I did not have to write anything and I have whatever I needed. And I, now all I need to do is just write some CSS. So this is how it works in react, basically JavaScript. So you just have to write the comments. Sometimes you don't even have to write comments. It's going to give you just like, I just wrote a single line 
that I want to map users into a card and it just started giving me the options of mapping them so I had to just rectify the error which was happening because again maybe it was not able to properly see the whole API and it messed up the login password wala thing for the key but again other than that it gave me almost everything that is the only mistake that github copilot did so again it's still in preview so again you would expect it to make some mistakes but this is totally awesome of what it can do right now so let's have a look at how it does css for you so this i'm sure a lot of people are going to love because many of you run away from css a lot i have seen so first let me import css here so i'm going to say import app.css okay i did not even have to write this I would have just said something like import something, or it would have understood. But again, let's not get that lazy. Okay, that's the only thing you'll get a lot lazier by using this. This is what I have figured because now that I'm getting this set state and user state everything by Copilot, I won't want to write this whole array thing down. Those who are uh, you know, those who do React, I think you guys would agree with me. Just give me a thumbs up if you do. I know I'm not the only one. Okay. Let's check out CSS for this. So what it has created is we have an app inside app. We are just uh, okay. We have a card and then we have image h3 np. Okay, fine. Let's do it. So first of all, let's uh, declare the app. So app here. Let's see what it gives us. So we're gonna have display flex. Okay, great. Flex direction column. No, I am not gonna use flex direction column. Instead, I want flex wrap. So this is the thing. If you have the suggestions of VS Code Emmet on, the Copilot won't work that well because right now, if I start writing and the Emmet comes up, so then you won't be able to see Copilot suggestions. So it is a little bit annoying in CSS. So or you have to just press Escape, Escape every time. That's the thing. But again, you'll get again. I got Justify Content Center again. Next Align Item Center. It's just simple thing. I'm getting it again and again. So now you can see that all the cards and everything is aligned. Now what I can do is I can say dot card, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna give me a card styling as well. Or let me try comments here. I haven't tried it out in CSS. So card with dark background, something like that. If I write, then what will happen? Let's see. So card with dark background. Let's remove this and see what it gives us. Okay, it's giving. Okay, it's giving capital card because I wrote capital card. Let me write small card. Okay. Okay. It properly made the uh, you know proper levels also. So it's giving me app card with hundred percent. Okay. Although I won't need that. Background color is setting dark gray. Box shadow nice. And yes, that's it. Okay, so it gave me like a transparent kind of card. Okay, so I'm gonna change the width and all. Because I don't need this, I just need thirty percent. So you can see this, and I also need some margin and padding. So margin, let's say eight pixels. So yeah, you still need to do CSS, but yeah, majorly it's gonna help you out in almost everything, especially with the display. Okay, so now you can see that cards are properly aligned, and if I, you know, it's because it's it has that flex wrap thing going on. So you can see that it also is responsive over the proper period. If we see 30%, 30%, it's going, it's doing that. So yeah, we can change the background also. It's not looking that great. So we can move it towards white. Okay, something like that, and give it a border radius of four pixels. That's it. So our basic React app that we wanted to make out of uh, GitHub Copilot is done. Okay, simple React app with ten users. We are bringing in from a random user API, and then properly, you know, adding them here. Now you can make subtle changes if you want. Like instead of thumbnail, let's see. Picture has large, medium, and thumbnail. So let's say we need medium. Okay, so we can change that, and we'll get medium images. See now we have medium images, and every time I refresh, every single time I'm gonna get new random users because uh, that's what the API does. Okay, so yeah, that's how easy the development process becomes with GitHub Copilot and both JavaScript, CSS, even in normal HTML websites. If you're making, this is gonna help you out a lot. 
uh, they, they should also use voice to text in it it will be more fun <laughs> okay so you you can just normally announce the comments that you want to write okay that's also a thing that you can do but yeah that's the whole preview of github copilot it's an amazing tool i find it really helpful but again it's going to make you a little bit lazy so you'll have to be aware of like what uh, you are doing with it but again it is a really really great tool it's fun to use definitely and it saves a lot of time and it is built for that only to save the developers time and it properly does that image snippets of vs code are significantly outperformed by github copilot kudos correct it is i feel for professionals it's amazing tool for beginners it's uh, yeah i was about to get to that point thanks venkatesh for okay, putting it up uh, exactly it's amazing for uh, you know the professional developers or basically who have been coding for a while but for beginners it's going to just going to spoil you it's going to spoil you so bad you won't even see it coming so my advice would be to not uh, rely on it in the starting learn the concepts because if you always start, keep using copilot then uh, i don't know you won't properly learn coding and coding is about the essence of you know learning it and knowing having the knowledge not just being able to code so yeah that is my advice to all the beginner coders this is a great tool again definitely check it out never you know stop yourselves from checking out new technology always be on the front row to do that but again try to learn understand increase your knowledge and then this is definitely going to you know uh, help you uh, basically speed up your coding process later on when you are uh, like on an intermediate stage or an advanced stage in a particular uh, language or whatever you are learning web dev app dev whatever it is it's going to help you out a lot okay so that's been the technical preview of github copilot i'm going to stop my screen share and now the floor is open for you guys for any questions that you have anything that you want to talk about about this github copilot preview or anything at all that you want to discuss i am also going to allow you to you know unmute yourself so you can directly ask your doubts if you have any otherwise uh, if you like the session then please uh, you know help us out we are about to reach a uh, 100 followers on our instagram account we have just started the community instagram account so if you like the session do follow us on instagram and also you know uh, you can uh, take a screenshot or you can uh, take a picture of the session that's going on right now and you can post it and you know express your thoughts about it so i'm going to leave the link and everything in the description and also one more information is that this session is possible because of a community that we are running uh that is by the students for the students is called doko nation okay that's the community through which you guys are all here together today watching this session we keep on having these sessions and we are including a lot of new stuff in the community almost every week and there are uh, some big announcements coming soon as soon as we reach 500 members i think we touched 500 today so that's amazing but yeah we'll still uh, look around for that so if you want to join the community it's on discord i'll leave the link to the community as well in the chat you can grab it from there and join the community yep so if you have any questions any uh, thoughts on github copilot you would like to share uh, the floor is open for you guys you can ask and if everything is clear everything is okay you can just uh, give me a thumbs up or anything like Uh, you can express your views on the session in the chat box if you liked it and thank you so much for joining in today yeah this stuff is crazy it is crazy the way we are advancing in the whole technology field is just crazy So this is what GitHub employees did along with Microsoft in the whole pandemic working from home. We can see the effort. Anyone any questions if you have you can ask in the chat box or directly by unmuting yourselves. I think you can unmute yourselves. Yep, you can. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining in for today's session. We 
constantly keep on doing sessions like these not just on development but also on various other fields like marketing content and everything is about to come startups and entrepreneurs and everything that is out there do check out the community the link is in the chat box and also if you want to check out this session later on on youtube and other sessions as well because we have a lot of different sessions we recently had a session on uh, ar filters like how to create uh, ar filters through spark ar a software by facebook so you can check that out on youtube and we have a whole java bootcamp series for free on youtube so you can check out youtube as well we are active there and yeah do follow us on instagram and join the community if you like the session